Hello and welcome to your 29th C++ lesson and this one is on enumerations. So let's get our basic program set up. We're going to include iostream and we're going to include conio.h. We're going to use namespace standard and leave a little gap for our enumeration is going to be and then we're going to have our main function, get a character and we're going to return zero. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually create this enumeration and basically we're going to use it as kind of a data type. A data type that can only store certain values. So the keyword we're going to use is enum, which of course stands for enumeration. And then our type. So we're going to use suit, as in like a card suit, clubs, diamonds, that kind of thing. So I'm going to open some brackets and close some brackets and then put a semicolon, just like with the class. Okay, so the first suit we're going to have is spades and clubs. Then we're going to hearts. Then we're going to diamonds. Okay, so that's the end of our enumeration. In fact, I'm just going to change these to spade, club, heart, and diamond. So now what we can do is we can actually create something which has this suit enumeration data type. So in the main function, I'm just going to create a suit variable. And it's going to be called my card. I'm just going to say my card equals a spade. Simple as my card equals a spade, and what that's done is set my card to the spade, one of the constants that it can be set to. I cannot set my card to nine or to three or to uh, Jill went up the hill. I have to set it to either spade, club, heart, or diamond because that they sorry are the constants defined in my enumeration. So my card happens to be a spade. And then we're just going to go if, in fact, no, we won't do that yet. Let's see out, first of all, my card. So, see out my card. What it should do is it should output zero. There we go, zero. Now, it's done this because, by default, these values are actually zero, one, two, and three. Because it starts from zero, and then it just counts up, basically. If we want to change this, we could say spade equals 1, and then it would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Not that it's saying on these little hover pop-up things, but it would be. It would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if we just debug this, that should output 1. There we go. So what we can also do is, because of the way these numbers are set up with the suit types, we could create a simple if statement. So we could say, if... Okay, this wouldn't really make a good card game, but let's say we're going to say, let's create another suit variable, his card, which really would work better being below my card, although it doesn't really matter. So my card's a spade, spade, spade and his card is a club, let's say. What we could then say is we could say if my card is greater than his card so if my card's greater than his card then do something about it so see out you win end line otherwise in fact we could probably just say else completely otherwise if your card isn't greater than his card then his card's got to be greater than your card so see out you lose. Unlucky. Although it's not unlucky at all because it's completely rigged that your card is always a spade and his card's a club. But you get the idea. So what it should do is because clubs are two and spades are one, it should say that clubs are greater than spades since his cards are clubs. It should say you lose unlucky because two is greater than one. There we go. Also, something else worth noting about enumerations is that if we wanted to make sure that we didn't have some type of name clash when saying my card to spade or his card to club, we could just reinforce this by saying suit and then having two colons, which makes sure it's from a suit enumeration. But most of the time you won't really need this because it automatically gets it from here since it's a suit variable. 
Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. Enumerations are really useful, as you can see just from this very simple card game. And I hope you have fun with them, and have a nice day.